Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079. Miss Shanika, right here. I am in the building with two beautiful ladies. One is named Chloe, one is named Hallie. And I'm really like amazed. Like, there's a whole nother world going on yeah. <laughs> that, yeah. that I don't really know about. But apparently, you guys have a really solid fan base. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that is that is really amazing. Thank All right, you. so tell me, um, what is your favorite song, either Chloe or Allie, um, on your new album? And the name for people that are kind of a little slow like me. Yes. So today, my favorite songs on our debut album, The Kids Are Right, would have to be Happy Without Me. It's our brand new single, and it's featuring Joey Badass and. You know, it just it's a really feel good song and it's dedicated to all the broken hearts out there who's ever lost someone. And I'm also in the high low mood. We wrote high low because we all have our highs and our lows. Oh, things that we love funny. and don't like about ourselves. But today we're going to love them all. Mm. And that's what you're talking about in that song. So the whole album, The Kids Are All Right, is something pretty special to my sister and I. We wrote and produced the entire thing in our living room and it's just been pretty special. We executive produced it and all that good stuff, and I'm happy to make music with my sister. I know, that's right. And what are your favorite songs? So today I would definitely have to agree with Chloe and say Hi Lo is one of my favorite songs for today because we think of all the songs as our little children and it's sometimes hard to choose. Right. But that would definitely be one because it's about embracing your insecurities and loving your whole self. All right. Yes. So you ladies are so positive. It's kind of like day and night from your characters on Grownish. Yes. Oh, okay. So let's talk about the show. Um, I got turned on to the show because I don't really have a lot of time to watch television. Mm -hmm. um, but my hairstylist loves the show that you guys are on Grownish. So I've seen all the episodes. And um, your characters are? Jaslyn and Skylar Forster. Oh, my God. What a mess. <laughs> I love watching you ladies on the show. Um, Let's see. What was what has been your experience like since being on Grownish? Being on Grownish has been a wonderful experience. You know, when we go to work every day with them, it doesn't feel like work. You're just surrounded by beautiful people like Yara and Trevor and the rest of the cast. And we're really grateful to be a part of that. We were also really grateful to be able to incorporate our music into the show. You know, we wrote and produced the theme song of the show, Grownish, oh. um, and that song is actually on our debut album, The Kids Are All Right, too. Um, so we were just happy and really grateful to be a part of it all, and it's fun channeling our characters, Jaslyn and Skylar, um, because we are from Mableton, Georgia, so we <laughs> have that little bit of stank with them. <laughs> so it's fun to, like, you know, let it out sometimes. Um, yeah. <laughs> like how you said you got a little bit of stank. <laughs> okay, so when is the next season of Grownish? Yeah, so it just got announced that it comes back in January. Yes. We start filming literally right after this tour. On the okay. And I'm so excited. So we get to jam out on the stage here in Atlanta on Saturday and Sunday. Yes. And our own show tonight. So it's going to be pretty special and we can keep doing that. We're going at 720. So get there early, everybody. And then right after we finish this tour, Grownish. I know that's right. Yes. All right. So what has been some of the best advice that you have received? Either one of you ladies. Yeah, for me, it would have to be definitely just trusting your gut and your intuition mm -hmm. and knowing that you are beautiful inside and out and what you hold is great. Your gift is meant to be within you and just to shine it, yeah. Okay, and what about you, Chloe? Yeah, I would definitely have to piggyback off what <laughs> said. Right. Surround yourself with good, positive people, because not every day, you are human, not every day is perfect, but you right. need those people to help uplift you, you know, so. Surely do. All right, so for um, those people, I know you guys have your own fan base going on, but, they want, like, who styles you? Do you come up with this? Like, clearly this was your idea, the dreads. I see your mom has dreads, so you guys have been working the dread look for a, a long time. It's really beautiful. So who comes up with your looks? Yeah, so my sister and I, we just, we love 
trying a lot of different things. And we have this incredible stylist named Zarina Akers who really pulls that from within us. And she makes us look cooler than we actually are, in my okay. opinion. <laughs> and she's like our sister, so she knows us so well. I love her. And on a regular day basis, my sister and I, we like to be comfortable and cute and just ourselves, you know. We okay. just like to be ourselves. So 